big, big, big piece of cardboard. Hello everyone, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another unboxing video. This one is very special to me. I've done several unboxing videos where I displayed comics. I won in eBay auctions and display stands. And I'm mentioning I'm getting together a kind of display case. Well, finally, after, oh God, two months, I get back the comics I sent to CGC. Now, it costs about $300 to get 13 comics graded. And on top of that, it was about $26 to ship down to CGC. And so a total of, if I do some math here, and I'll probably put it on screen if I don't, forgive me, uh, about $326 total. And so it worked out about $25 a comic, a little over $25 a comic to get graded. That includes the CGC charges and the postage to send. And I thought that was pretty reasonable. Now, a lot of channels, if you watch some comic book channels and unboxings, they make a big mystery out of, oh, I don't know what I sent, I don't know what I got. Yeah, don't let them so know you. It's all for drama. Once I checked CGC's site and it said everything had been graded and shipped, I just clicked on a uh, number. It popped up a list of what I had sent and what was graded and how it was graded. It didn't get any comments, but I'm very proud of my grades. I can tell you right now, one comic in particular, I was really happy it got the grade I thought it would, and a few came out that were disappointing in some sense because I thought they were higher grade, but they weren't. And then there's another comic, it actually had a higher grade than I thought, and another comic where there was a lower grade than I thought. Either way, I'm happy overall, because I didn't specify, I didn't have 25 comics. So let's get on with this. And I already had cut the box open. Big, big, big piece of cardboard. Uh, comic link, don't know what this is, but what the heck, you can sell comics. So the first, ooh, bubble wrap. Comic coming out is Green Lantern Sinestro Corpse Special Number One, 9.8. That's right, 9.8. I actually thought this was going to be like a 9.6 when I sent it, but overall, I can see it was really good shape, beautiful, no cracks or damage to the case. And so, white pages, beautiful. I'll talk a little more about prices because I looked them up already, knowing what I've gotten graded. And I tend to go toward the low end when it comes to pricing. Ah, this is the one I am overly happy with and excited about. Legion of Superhero, number one, Saturn Girl, variant cover, 9.8. God, she's gorgeous. I mean, look at this. This is Jim Lee cover. It's beautiful. I bought this uh, at a comic store, um, Collector's Edge in Milwaukee. If you got a chance to go to it, you're in Milwaukee. 
it was never touched by human hands. There must have been some production flaws, but whatever. This is going in the display case. I already have a holder ready for it. And at some point, I'll show you the display case and its contents. Next comic, oh, forgive me. Ah, Action Comics 23.1, the lenticular cover, Cyborg Superman. I remember when these lenticular covers came out, they were the rage. I mean, for four bucks, people were selling them on eBay for $20. As soon as they got them, they were being listed on eBay for 20 bucks. This comic, I'll, again, I'll talk about some pricing later, but a 9.8, I kind of expected that. The comic after that is another lenticular cover. It's Aquaman 23.2, and again, it's a lenticular cover. These came out Wow, 1113. That's already been eight years since these came up, these came out. So again, another 9.8. Freaking awesome. Beautiful. Next comic is another lenticular cover. And this is Action Comics 23.2. Three Lex Luthor cover again, beautiful 9.8. I expected it to be 9.8. They hold up well because thicker cover, thicker stock. Ooh, yes, another lenticular cover flash number 23.1. The Grod cover, again, beautiful, 9.8, I could not object. I did put a lot of lenticular covers into this, so the, the 9.8 ratio, extremely, extremely high. Beautiful, oh, you know, if you hear some squeaky noise, the chair. I'm not farting, it's the chair. This is Earth 2 Future's End. It had a 3D lenticular cover. I put it in. I didn't get a price yet because no one's really sold it. But it was a beautiful cover with the new Red Tornado. And at the time, Earth 2 was one of the best comics out. And again, I was collecting it. I enjoyed it. 9.8. Ah. Another lenticular cover. Earth 2 15.1. The Desaad cover. Again, Earth 2 was one of the best series being put out at the time. And it was awesome. I love the way they had redone the Justice League for that Earth. And you had the Thomas Wayne Batman, all the fun stuff. It was great, great writing and a great series. This is another 9.8 lenticular cover. I'm doing good. Like I said, there are some covers that I was a little disappointed in. I haven't come across it yet. I may set that aside. I am setting it aside. I want to go through all the 9.8s first. This is Justice League Dark. The Eclipso variant, 23.2. Again, 9.8. Lovely, lovely covers on these things. I have to say when DC did them, it was kind of gimmicky, but they did lovely art. They did beautiful work. And again, a 
the Justice League Dark, 23.1, the Creeper variant, again, beautiful cover, and another 9.8. Now we're getting into the comics that did not do 9.8. And this one, actually, it came out. This is Batman Killing Joke. This is the first printing DC Comics 1998. 9.6 white pages. I kind of looked at it. There's some dings that I saw and I thought, eh, probably not going to be in 9.8. It's old and a little beat up, but yeah, again, it's still 9.6. I'm keeping this because, you know, and, and that's the great part about encapsulation. This is going to be permanent. It's going to be permanent 9.6. And again, I'm keeping this. Don't know if it's going to go into the display case. I only have so much room in that display case. And I already got three comics. Now, this is the one I'm a little disappointed in. But not horrible. This is Walking Dead, number 193. Thicker comic, I thought it would do better. Image Skybound, this is the final issue. It's a first print. And it is spectacular to have this. I mean, I got this from the comic shop, um, Collector's Edge. Again, if you're in Milwaukee, go to them. I had a pull list, and Walking Dead was the only series I was getting pulled at the time. And a buddy of mine said, hey, Brad, Walking Dead is over. And I thought, no way. He says, yeah, the last issue came up. And I thought, huh? They had solicited for further issues. Well, then I get to the comic shop a week later, and he says, you're lucky I saved this for you. I said, oh, really? He's joking around, the owner was. He says, people are selling this for 20 bucks already on the internet. People came in, they wanted 100 copies. He said, I only limited them to one. He said, since you are a subscriber, you got the copy. And I was happy. Disappointed that the series ended. It was probably the one of the best comic series in comic book history. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And now that this is all nice and preserved, I'm debating about keeping it in my personal collection. And then this is the final one. This is the one I was most disappointed in. This is sad. And this is the Archie, Afterlife with Archie, number one. Uh, it is the Pepoy variant cover. You look at it, it's gorgeous artwork. You got Betty here in scantily clad clothing. Um, yeah, I thought it would be higher but the problem is you have a lot of black in it and it's very difficult to keep these type of covers clean. I probably could have done a little cleaning myself with some cotton balls and stuff. Overall, uh, there is some minor flaws. You get cracks along here. But overall, it's 9.4, which not going to set any records for pricing, but yeah. Again, I was a little disappointed. Now, let's go back. And I said, it cost me about $326, well, 326 to get these graded. And you're talking 13 comics. And overall, I was very happy. There's two reasons why you grade comics. One, preservation. 
you love that issue, you love the art, and you want to slab it and get it preserved because you're going to keep it that way. The other is selling. If you're going to sell, then there's two things when you slab a comic. You want to get a high grade. Uh, 9.8 is optimal. Most people will snag those up very quickly, especially for modern comics. Otherwise, you're winding up, you're going to get less money. If you're going to get less money, make sure you're going to be able to get your money back. Breaking even sucks, but I can sit on these comics for a while. I don't care. Some of them I know I can sell immediately. The 9.8, some of them haven't even been sold. And I looked up some pricing here. I'll go through it. If you want to leave, leave the video. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon in order to get the notification that I posted a video. And thanks for stopping by. Now I'm going to discuss pricing. Now, let's go back to this comic right here. The 9.4 comic. I looked up pricing. I use Gold Comics. They've been pretty accurate for what's going on. And I don't want to subscribe. There's another one, uh, Cover Price. You can subscribe. I think it's free. And then they watch the markets. Um, Gold Comics has this at $22. Was the last sale for 9.4. Afterlife with Archie, number one, at a 9.4. Pet Poi variant, which, again, I might put it up to check it out. I can sit on it for a little while. It doesn't matter. Walking Dead. Again, this is one where I don't know if I want to keep it. I can sell it right now at 9.6. It's going for $40. I can make a little bit of a profit. Who knows, people will upbid it. It's, again, something I was a little disappointed in, but happy I have it. Again, I can sit on it. It doesn't matter. Killing Joke. This is a higher. I thought it would be like 9.4 when it came. It's 9.6. It's selling at $130. And, yeah, I'm not going to sell it. This is in my private collection. This is one of the finest stories ever written. Best Batman story ever. And, well, hey, I'm going to keep it. And keep it for a while. Justice League Dark. This is the 23.1. Uh, no one sold it on eBay yet. Might give it a shot. 9.8, sell quickly and people will bid for them. There's probably someone out there wanting to get all the lenticular covers at 9.8 or better. So I'll give it a shot. Again, no sale. And then this one, the 3.2. The Eclipso variant last sold at 26 bucks, which means I'm going to make a dollar profit. Who knows? The comic market is a little crazy, but I'll put it up there. Maybe run it up the flagpole, see what happens. I'm not that in love with things to keep it. The Earth 2. This one, again, nothing. No sale. And so I could put it out and see what happens. There's probably someone out there wanting to get all the lenticular covers at 9.8 and graded. These things were coming out at, again, when they first came out, $20 each on eBay raw. The market subsided. It happens. You overpay, you lose money. This one, again, 
Earth 2 Futures End number one. Not out there, no price. I can put it out and give it a test. Flash number 23.1. It came in at, oh yeah. This is another one where <laughs> no price. So I'll give it a shot. Maybe float it out there, give it a try. Action Comics. Now I'm looking at my notes here. Forgive me, I'm not doing very good video. This is the 23.3. Last sold for 28 bucks. Comic book market is crazy right now. Um, and Gold Comics is not as real time as other places, other websites, but hey, this Aquaman 23.2 sold $70 is the highest price for a 9.8 so far. And again, Gold Comics is about a month behind. Things are going crazy on the internet for comic books. I'm surprised. I mean, I submitted this in February to CGC. It's May, three months. End of February, I were near the end of May. And again, their turnaround time doesn't include it being shipped to them and the time it takes to ship back. So they get it, they don't mark it as received right away, it sits there, it could be, it was I think like a month by the time it finally was marked as received. But I digress. This Action Comics last sold for 22 bucks. I wouldn't be making any money on it, I could put it out there at 25 and see what I get. Might not be worth putting up. Still a lovely cover. This, again, I'm not selling. And it actually last sold for $90. This is in my display case. This is a personal, keeping it, I'm a Legion fan. I'm a Legion of Superheroes fan. Saturn Girl is one of my favorite characters for, well, various reasons. Pink Bikini Saturn Girl costume. Again, one of my favorite costumes. And I actually got a tattoo. I'm not going to show you the tattoo. With this costume, it's gorgeous. Great artist did it. Color. I'm not going to show it. Maybe I'll show it when I get 100 subscribers. Show a little skin for 100 subscribers. Let's put it at that. I will show my tattoo if I get 100 subscribers at the end of the year or by the end of the year. Hell, if I get 100 subscribers, I'll show my tattoo. I don't have to take any clothing off. I just got to roll up a sleeve. Anyway, this one, Green Lantern, Sinestro Corp Special, Corp. Say corpse, yeah, that's good. Uh, actually, I'm surprised. This is a 14-year-old comic, and for it to be in 9.8 condition, I keep my comics bagged and boarded, properly stored, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This can survive 14 years and still be a 9.8. Either I'm doing it right, or maybe CGC is slipping. I digress. This is selling. This sold recently for ninety bucks. Yeah, this is going to be up on eBay. So my comics, everything. If I sold all my comics at what I feel is what the Gold Comics gave, and I'm taking the ones that didn't have a price. And I'm estimating at the low end of 22, if I just went and sold all these comics on eBay and got what I feel is a more conservative price, I'd have a total of $608. And 
I would make a profit of three of 282 just selling these comics all of them on eBay for what I got low price lowest price that would be a pretty good deal I mean if you take out all my time and effort to box and send and all the processing prop time yeah 282 is a pretty good profit some of these I will be posting on eBay three I'm definitely keeping I want to say uh, maybe two for sure I'm keeping the killing joke and the Legion otherwise yeah everything's open for a price if I get 100 subscribers, I'll show you my tattoo. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you stuck with me for this length of time, thank you. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment. I always try and respond to comments. I don't get a lot of them, but I appreciate them. They've been very encouraging. And if you like this type of video or you like video game videos, which I normally do, I post four times a week. That hasn't changed. It might at some point change. I enjoy doing those videos. And so hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification. As always, thanks for stopping by.